The Path of Inner Strength The Power of Non-Attachment Going beyond the ordinary, where troubles, disappointments, and difficulties are part of our existence, there exists a path that leads to profound inner strength and unalloyed bliss. This is the path of accepting wisdom of non-attachment and disciplining the mind, for it is through these practices that one can unlock the gates to their own divine nature. Life, with its inevitable challenges, is a constant teacher. Yet within the folds of external circumstances and adversity, one can discover a hidden source of strength hidden within ourselves. Recognizing the impermanence of external events liberates the mind from the shackles of transient joys and sorrows, paving the way to balance and harmony. The power of non-attachment is a profound concept that finds its roots in various philosophical and spiritual traditions. The ancient practices such as Buddhism and yoga have long recognized the transformative potential of cultivating a mindset that is not bound by attachments to the transient and ephemeral aspects of life. In Buddhism, non-attachment is a principle of the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path. The Buddha taught that attachment to desires and cravings leads to suffering. By letting go of attachments, individuals can attain a state of liberation and enlightenment known as nirvana. The practice of mindfulness meditation in Buddhism encourages individuals to observe their thoughts and emotions without clinging to them, fostering a sense of detachment and inner peace. The term Samatha Vipassana refers to the integration or balanced practice of both Shamatha calm abiding, and vipassana, insight meditation. It signifies a comprehensive approach where practitioners first cultivate mental tranquility through shamatha and then use that concentrated mind to develop insights into the nature of reality through vipassana. The practice of shamatha involves cultivating a focused and undistracted mind. Practitioners typically focus their attention on a single point, such as the breath or an object, to calm the mind and develop concentration. The goal is to achieve a state of mental tranquility and one-pointedness. The practice of vipassana involves cultivating insight into the nature of reality and the impermanence of all phenomena. Practitioners observe the arising and passing away of sensations, thoughts, and emotions with mindfulness. By mindfully observing the unsatisfactory and changing nature of experiences, practitioners develop a clear understanding that clinging to impermanent things ultimately leads to dissatisfaction. As practitioners observe the ever-changing mental and physical processes without clinging to a fixed identity, they come to realize the concept of non-self. Through this practice, practitioners develop a deep understanding of impermanence, anika, suffering, dukkha, and non-self, anatta, which in turn fosters a sense of non-attachment. Yoga, too, embraces the concept of non-attachment. The Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, a foundational text in classical yoga, discuss the concept of vairagya, which translates to non-attachment or dispassion. According to Patanjali, practicing non-attachment allows individuals to transcend the fluctuations of the mind and achieve a state of inner balance and tranquility. Vairagya is presented as the antidote to the desire for control. It is a state of non-attachment, where one is not swayed by desires and cravings. By cultivating dispassion, an individual can transform their approach to life, moving away from the pursuit of power and control and towards a state of inner freedom and detachment. Non-attachment does not imply a rejection of life or a passive withdrawal from it. Instead, it encourages a balanced and mindful engagement with the world. It is about acknowledging the impermanence of all things and understanding that genuine happiness and fulfillment arise from within rather than being dependent on external circumstances. 
The pursuit of material possessions or the fear of their loss fades away, allowing the individual to experience a profound sense of liberation. This freedom, born from non-attachment, opens the door to a life that transcends the limitations of mundane concerns. Practical applications of non-attachment can be found in everyday life. Whether facing success or failure, joy or sorrow, the non-attached individual remains steady and undisturbed. This mindset allows for a more resilient response to life's challenges as one is not emotionally entangled with outcomes. It fosters a sense of freedom and openness, enabling individuals to fully engage in the present moment without being burdened by the past or anxiously anticipating the future. To embark on this journey, it is imperative to discipline the mind. Disciplining the mind is a gradual process that requires patience and persistence. Through mindful awareness and conscious effort, one can train the mind to detach from the illusions of the external world. Mindfulness practice gives people the ability to observe thoughts without attachment, fostering a mental environment conducive to growth and self-discovery. The discipline of the mind extends beyond meditation sessions, filling all aspects of daily life with its presence. It involves making mindful choices, taking intentional actions, and maintaining conscious awareness in each moment. Through this discipline, the mind becomes a powerful ally on the path to discovering and embracing the spiritual forces inherent in our true being. In the pursuit of a balanced mind, one must guard against external morbid influences and discordant vibrations. These negative energies, like storms on the horizon, can cloud the clarity of thought and disrupt the inner harmony. Regular meditation emerges as a powerful tool, a haven of stillness. By immersing oneself in the stillness within, the practitioner begins to detach from the tumultuous currents of external influences. In the serenity of these moments, one can draw upon new strength, unlocking the gates to perennial joy and unalloyed bliss. By practicing meditation, individuals learn to observe their thoughts without judgment, allowing them to pass like clouds in the vast sky of consciousness. The art of feeling and embodying inner joy becomes not just a fleeting emotion, but a constant undercurrent beneath the surface of everyday life. This joy is not contingent upon external circumstances, but is an expression of the inherent bliss that resides within each individual. It is crucial to understand that this journey is not an evasion from the harsh and sometimes painful realities of individual existence. Rather, it represents a profound acceptance of reality in its entirety. It is an elevated awareness that surpasses the dualistic constructs of the mind and transcends the divisive categorization of individual experiences into realms of good and evil. On this path, we liberate ourselves from illusory concepts that tether us to subjective perspectives, enabling us to perceive the world holistically, unburdened by anxiety and emotional entanglements. This journey is a liberation from the limitations of preconceived notions. This is not a pursuit of supernatural superpowers. It is a journey inward, a quest to rediscover one's true self, it is not a quest for external dominance, but rather the revelation of an enduring spiritual power within, a power that serves as the manifestation of genuine strength and wisdom. As we unravel the layers of conditioned thinking and societal influences, we unearth this intrinsic spiritual power, recognizing it as the very essence of true strength.